different continent, you see different racing culture, and it does increase your skills. Tom Harvey's lead, as you can see, was 2.18. It's now down to 0.174. So is Brett Ward, the Englishman, reeling in Tom Harvey, the Welshman? We're on lap 10 of 15, so we're coming towards the two-thirds race distance. There's a driving standards flag, a warning flag, the equivalent of soccer's yellow card. Tom Harvey sets off on lap 11. Brett Ward in second place is under pressure from Juan Manuel Correa, but Juan Correa not in a position to try and make a move at the moment. Fourth is Guan Yu Zhou, fifth is Ralph Aaron, and those five are well clear of the rest. It's a long way back, long, long way back to the sixth place driver, Robbie Gallia. Thomas Issa still seventh. Ashley Rojero goes up to eighth place. Luke Selikan up to ninth place. And the Australian James Abela comes into the top 10 at number 10. Of the Americans, Blaine Rocha has dropped to 13. Kyle Kirkwood has climbed to 12th. Of the other Americans, that is. Confirmation that we lost Joseph Burton Harris early on, as well as Julian Van der Watt and Lars Lamborel. So some good drivers there we lost at an early stage. Very unfortunate. We've also lost Ruth Markinen of Finland, the last of the drivers circulating. Well, it was Marvin Pionke, but he's not come round for lap 10, so I think we may also have lost the German Marvin Pionke and the impressive Frenchman Bastien Legay is not there now. Tom Harvey's lead on lap 12 is 1.2 seconds. This is lap 12. One and a quarter seconds to the good. Tom Harvey of Wales from the Englishman Brett Ward. Brett Ward just a little bit further away from one career at the moment. And it may well be that one career's thinking will shortly be not so much can I reel in Brett Ward and go past him, but what do I do to stop Guan Yu Zhou going past me? Because Guan Yu Zhou in fourth place is getting closer. And there's a move by Juan Career on Brett Ward. No, it isn't. Juan Career thought better of it. This is the start of lap 13. Tom Harvey's lead is down to nine tenths of a second from about 1.67. And uh, you can see what the screen is showing there. 0.092. The previous lap was 1.28. Three laps to go, including the one that they're on. So two and three quarter laps to go and Tam Harvey's seemingly unassailable lead not looking quite so unassailable. Second place, Brett Ward. Third, Juan Correa. Fourth, Guan Yu Zhou. Just to remind you that Guan Yu Zhou is a Chinese-born driver from Shanghai in China, but now based in Sheffield in the north of England and racing on a British license. In last year's Rotax Grand Finals, he represented the People's Republic of China, and he carried the Chinese flag out this morning, or this lunchtime on the driver presentation, but driving on a British license. This is lap 13. And uh, Tom Harvey's lead down to 0.69 of a second. There's no question that Brett Ward is reeling him in. You see the flag on screen, the Union flag of the United Kingdom, but it's the United Kingdom of four countries, and it's a Welshman leading from an Englishman. The Englishman is not going to be happy with second place. Brett Ward closing. Brett's just done a 57.318, the fastest lap. Tom Harvey's done a 57.54. So Brett Ward is more than two-tenths of a second quicker than Tom Harvey at the moment. And this is lap 14 of 15. Are we in for a real grandstand finish? Juan Correa also putting pressure on Brett Ward and the two of them pushing each other along. Coming round to see the last lap board. One to go, one to go. And Tom Harvey trying to take a defensive line. That might not be a good move because Brett Ward closes up to him more than he's ever done before. And Tom Harvey, oh, and there's some contact there. And Juan Carrera's taking advantage. And it's a close finisher looming up. Tom Harvey leads. Brett Ward is second. One career takes a nudge from Guan Yu Zhou. Oh, and we've lost 
the race leader, Tom Harvey, was shoveled out of the way there. And unfortunately, the five going for the victory is now four going for the victory. And it's all gone wrong on that little move. I'm not sure if Tom's tactics were right, trying to play a defensive game. And one Manuel Correa looking for the victory on Brett Ward. Do we get an American champion? One Correa from the USA trying his utmost to get the victory. Juan Correa has got one turn to do it and the American gets in front. The American is in front and the United States has a Rotax world champion. I don't think that Brett Ward is overly happy and uh, Brett Ward will make an appeal. But Juan Manuel Correa brings home the bacon, the first ever Rotax world champion. Juan Manuel Correa, the American champion, takes the checkered flag. Forgive me if I was losing my voice at the end, but that's how good it was. That's how close it was. George Oriana will be happy. George Oriana from OGP will feel that was good for him. Well, some negative news to bring you from that event. My friends on Jamaica, the reggae racers, I'm sorry to tell you that Thomas Issa, who finished eighth, will be classified last. He's picked up a DQ. Don't know what it's for, just know that he's picked up the DQ. Well, our caption confirms that the United States of America here in the United States have produced a Rotax World Champion. It's Juan Manuel Correa. The American champion is now the world champion. Beating into second place, Brett Ward of England and Guan Yu Zhou, an adopted Brit. Ashley Rahero from the USA, the only girl left in the competition, a very, very creditable seventh place. Yuri Vips, who was disqualified from the pre-final and had to start last, comes all the way through from 34th to 15th. A small consolation for him. Well, sad confirmation that Thomas Issa from Jamaica at the bottom of your group there has been disqualified. Well, Jenny's down at uh, trackside and I think she's got the champion with her. Let's go and join them. Okay, I'm here with the winner, the new 2013 number one champion in Junior Max. How do you feel? Amazing. I mean, I can't. I can't believe it. It was an amazing race. Uh, I mean, I, I couldn't even imagine me winning, but here I am. So yeah. Now, of course, everything's provisional until the officials tell us it's all 100%. But in the meantime, the racing, everything, so much pressure. 
Yeah, I mean, the whole race I had pressure from behind and I, I was pushing with another uh, competitor and we caught the leader and then in the last lap they fought and then in the last turn he left the door open so I went for it and yeah. And that's it. So the team now is so excited out there. I think they're already starting the party. <laughs> yeah, I mean, tonight we're going to party. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. We'll let you go and celebrate. Well done, the new world number one, Junior Max. Thank you. Well done.